Good morning and welcome to this very special edition of the Southside Scoop. I'm Tyler Espinosa. And I'm Sarah Rourke. Sarah, today everyone here at the Southside Scoop was put under real world broadcasting situations and we got a taste of the stressful deadlines that come with that as we struggled to make an eight minute show in only eight hours. Yeah, Tyler, our only restrictions was having to stay in the Riverside or Parkville areas and relating back to the theme upstream from ordinary. Are you ready to stock up on some food for a party? Maybe browse some antiques? Well, then this market of sorts is the place for you. Caleb Seymour and Connor Locke have more. As you pull into the parking lot, it's hard to miss this treasure where X marks the spot. And here, you're bound to find something worthwhile because this store has quite the history. It started in 1948 as a two-car garage with gas pumps, and they sold cigarettes and milk and bread. But 67 years later, the stores expanded exponentially. No longer a few gas pumps, but now aisles and aisles and aisles of endless variety that keeps loyal customers coming back. Well, they have all kinds of stuff. They have a whole hardware department back there. You can go back and buy nuts and bolts and parts for your toilet. And, I mean, they got everything back there. You got weed eater parts and they got clothes. And I mean, it's, it's almost like a department store. Red X is not your ordinary store. With items ranging from antiques to hardware to groceries, this place offers everything and more because part of what they have isn't tangible. Um, more one-on-one. -on -one. It's not um, a big conglomerate or something like that. You know, it's just it's a family-owned store, and and I don't know. I guess think of everybody as one big family here. They're all really nice, and helpful. I mean. And they have a lot of employees. There's like somebody walking around in every aisle, it seems like almost. I mean, if you got any questions, you can't find anything. Shoot, there's always somebody right around the corner that you can find. Because the store is as quirky as it is convenient, it'll likely be around for another 67 years. This is Connor Locke with Caleb Seymour signing off. Miranda Stazak and I got a chance to catch up with the mayor of Riverside, Kathy Rose, to find out just where the idea of upstream from Riverside really came from. In 2010, the city went through a rebranding process to identify a new tagline and a new marketing campaign for the community. Upstream from Ordinary was one of three brands that we kind of knocked around until it, it, it flowed to the top because of uh, all of the amenities that we have around our community. We have the Missouri River, we have the Line Creek that runs through, so we're kind of surrounded by water. So having something that was upstream from Ordinary was really important to us, as well as it representing everything that we have accomplished in this community especially in the last 20 years and we have uh, developed so many beautiful buildings and so many beautiful trails and uh, so many different programs that benefit everybody's quality of life that it really was a fitting tagline upstream from ordinary. While these vendors might not make the typical mold, they're serving up food that's out of this world. The Riverside food trucks are very special and an important commodity to our community. The city of Riverside looked for a, a brick and mortar type restaurant or something to come up here. Uh, there's several different offices and buildings and factories and such right here in the neighborhood that needed an outlet for their employees to find some place to eat. With this unique concept, it's growing in popularity and size. Um, a restaurant in brick and mortar style is a large, expensive adventure, uh, and you really wouldn't get a lot of variety. The city was nice enough to build this food truck lot that we're standing in here, and four to five different food trucks uh, go in every day throughout here. We post up here uh, every day for lunchtime. We open at 11, close at 1.30. Uh, so really it's a combination of a, of a project between the Riverside and what these businesses needed. It's not just a business, but a family environment. Signing off on the South Side Scoop, I'm Jordan Bell with Kyle Sims. All right, well that's all we have for you today on this special edition of the South Side Scoop. I'm Sarah Rourke. And I'm Tyler Espinosa. Have a wonderful day, everyone.